on the best two products to make your red lip last all night, even through a three course meal. I'm gonna be showing you how on today's video. Of truth, I have had my red lip on all day. Uh, I've just done a client and as we know, I like to talk a lot and I've had this on. Uh, so let's see the damage that has been done. Are you ready? Ah, it's still on. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a red lip last. If you've got to wear a mask over it and take your mask off when you get into places, um, it will work for that. And with Christmas season here, it has arrived, uh, red lips have been so popular and obviously we've already got Valentine's Day not far around the corner either. So red lips are massive at the moment and there are so many different shades. So please, please feel, please don't feel like you can't wear a red lip because you can go for slightly pinkier and go for a raspberry red. You can go for a warm bricky red or you can go for a classic pillar box, which is what I'm showing you today with Max Ruby Woo. And I was recently on a meal at Menagerie in Manchester with the ladies from the Money Mavens. And the lady I was sat next to says to me, um, I'm very, very impressed that your red lip has not budged all night. And I was, I'm thinking, I'm sat there like this, thinking, I hope my red, I hope my lips haven't got big, like no lipstick in the middle. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised. So I thought I need to put this in a video to show you guys how you can make it last. So uh, these are my favorite lip liners and these are for from Pierre Rene. And they are a waterproof lip liner, which is my little bit of secret that goes underneath. So I'm going for number four. I've linked this down below in the comments as well and I've already got just normal base makeup on. So I'm just gonna outline in this. I'm just gonna completely fill in. And if you struggle to do your lip shape, just go up to the actual edges. So straight off, it looks absolutely ridiculous. But we're gonna start building up around where we want it. So. Just follow around on your natural lip line. And then you can start to fill out if you want it slightly fuller anywhere else. So, if like me, you've got one side that's slightly thinner than the other, this is your opportunity to get a nice bit of balance. If you wanna cheat how fillers look in your lips, you can also do that by making them look a bit fuller too. Uh, I'm just going to You want to get in the middle but make sure you're not going too far in the middle because what you don't want is red teeth get the line where you want it so fill out your normal lip line and if you feel like one side slightly smaller and one side really big you can then start to use your lip line and slightly go out the line and go until you feel like it's comfortable red lip is absolute it's just a pain in the ass to get off if you get it in the wrong place so uh yeah just less is more build it up gradually if you're fine doing your own lip then you go for it then we have i've got this little mini so these are only about 10 pounds from mac and this is my little mini ruby woo which is this gorgeous like classic red just like my nails and i'm going to put this on with a brush because i like layering up so this is just a little real techniques brush i'm going to pop that over the top See how much richer the colour red goes when you put this over the top and you fill in with that line underneath. And I swear this does not budge. Um, to look from far away to make sure I've got some balance. And then look how white it makes your teeth look. I love it. I absolutely love it. That is 
my answer to the longest lasting lippy, even through a four course, three, three course meal, a ton of cocktails, and a girl's day out for a quite a substantial amount of hours, needing to wear a mask over the top. This bad boy did not move. It stayed perfectly in place. But if you are sat at home and you wanna learn more about how to master your makeup, I am hosting online lessons for you to learn and you can learn from anywhere in the world. You literally get this up close and personal. It's all step-by-step, step, completely broken down. There's nothing missed out. I'm showing you how to hold your brushes how to apply it, where to apply the weight to, what to do, where to go, how to balance, where you should be blending for your own face shape, it nips in and it makes you feel youthful. Everything, everything that you need to know is gonna be broken down into one off, one look, complete look, one complete look. So you can choose whichever one you want to go for and then there is a support group to help you along the way if you would like to learn more about how to master your makeup then please go and subscribe through the link that is down below in the comments also drop me a note there to let me know how well your lip lasted and uh if you can please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe let me know if there's any other videos you would like to see merry merry christmas and i will see you on the next video